Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Famiwurst three brew style single serve coffee maker. Now I was given this coffee maker free to me by the manufacturer, but I was not paid for this video. So this video will be my own opinion. So this might be called the hot and iced coffee maker. Retails for about $74. There is a $15 coupon. So around, looks like $50, maybe $60 is the going price. Now I've been using this coffee maker for a little bit. It's got some features I have not seen on other coffee makers. So is it worth the money? That's a pretty good price. It does have a lot of plastic on it, but it's got some really neat features that I'm gonna go over. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so they call this the three brew styles because you can do over ice, regular, and strong brew. Now on the side, it's got a control panel, but be careful. If you press the over ice, that's how you start the brew. Press the over ice, that light comes on, it starts regular brew and strong brew. Now we can change the size. We can go all the way up to 24 ounces, but that's only on a strong brew when you're using your own coffee grounds. Otherwise, we're gonna be doing six, eight, 10, 12, but I will do a 24 ounce. That's one of the special features of this uh, coffee maker that I found really nice. Okay, so up top, here's where the filter basket is. You're gonna put the coffee in here. You can brew your own, using your own coffee grounds and tea leaves, or you can use a K-cup. It's got this adapter that we can put in there. I'm gonna show you how to use that. Round back, it does have a water reservoir that is removable. Miss Fiona is sacked out, taking a big nap. And on the side, it's got some nice markings for different measurements. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this filter basket. Again, that's a wire filter around it. Now, you can fill it up to the max line. That's six tablespoons. You can put up to six tablespoons of coffee in here. Now, it's a little hard to see, but the max line is right below the, the word max. There's the line for it. And I've filled this up with a tablespoon, and you can put up to six. Now, that's if you're wanting to do the full 24 ounce you can put six tablespoons of coffee in here, or you can just put two tablespoons or one or anywhere in between. Now, if you wanna do a K-cup, you're gonna take this filter basket out and then you're just gonna put this K-cup adapter in. It's got a needle on the bottom. It's gonna pierce the K-cup. So you're gonna put the K-cup in. You can, I like to pierce it. Go ahead and just push it down. It pierces it, be careful of the top. And then when I close it, it's gonna pierce the top of that K-cup K-Cups have two tablespoons of coffee in them. So I like to do eight ounces, but you can do 10 ounces or six ounces. Another neat feature I thought was this drip tray. It's kind of it's kind of neat. You can kind of have it that way. You can turn it over and then put this in. It looks really stylish and it kind of lifts your uh, mug up a little closer. Okay, so since I've got a K-Cup in, let's do eight ounces. Let's just do a regular brew and check some temperatures. Just press that button, it comes on and it's gonna start, it does start brewing right away. Okay, so it only took about 20 seconds. Coffee is starting to come out. Okay, so it starts out around 185. It ramps up really quick. I do see almost 200 degrees coming out here towards the end. There's 190, there's 194, 195. So the coffee smells really good that it's brewing. It's got a nice even stream. I'm not getting a lot of splashing around. Okay, so it's finishing up here. It is gonna beep at us when it's done. Took about a minute and 40, almost two minutes, and we end up with a very hot cup of coffee. About a 171, and that's again, that's a very hot cup of coffee. There's the coffee, I've been drinking it out of here. It makes a really nice cup of coffee. Yep, that's very, it's just, it's very, very hot. Very hard to drink right now. Now I could have done an over ice with the K-cup or I could have done a strong brew. Now there's the beeps you get towards the end to let you know that it's done. Okay, so let's open it up here. Let's see how the cake up did. You've got this cake up adapter. Be careful, this can be hot, but you're gonna take it out. There's how it did. Okay, so another nice feature is, so say you got a travel mug here and you wanna brew into a travel mug. Let's use our own coffee grounds. Let's flip this around so that we can get a nice tall travel mug in here. Again, this is all very well built. If I can't get it in there, then I can set it down like that. So with the travel mug, I could do 12 ounces now, 24 ounces won't fit into this. You have to get a bigger container for that, but I could do 12 ounces into it. And then the nice thing about it is you can use your own coffee in here. Again, so for 12 ounces, I would put three tablespoons. Again, this will hold up to six. You could put six and have an extremely strong cup of coffee, um, but you could put up to four tablespoons in here. I think that would taste good. Close it. 
And then you can do a regular brew or a strong brew or an even over ice. I'm gonna do an over ice uh, next. Okay, so for the over the ice, I'm gonna use the filter basket and my own coffee grounds. You can use a K-cup, that is fine too. You can run just six ounces through it on the over ice. That'll work fine too, but let's use our own coffee grounds. I'm gonna put, so for over ice, it does brew hot. It, it lowers the temperature a little bit, but it's gonna melt that ice a bunch. So you want a really strong concentrated coffee that's gonna get diluted when it melts the ice. So I like to put three full tablespoons of ground coffee in here. And again, you can, I'm using medium ground just for a normal drip coffee maker. You could go to like a medium coarse grind for a iced coffee. It might taste a little bit better. And you're simply gonna close this lid. It's got a little latch there. And again, it sits right up here. Then you're just gonna close this and that'll snap close. Now they recommend, and this is, I think tastes the best, is doing a six ounce. You can do it an eight ounce or a 10 ounce, but it, Whatever you select on over ice, that's what it's gonna brew. Some over ice machines, when you select six ounce, it only brews like two ounces. But this machine, whatever size you pick, even though you're doing over ice, that's the size it's gonna brew through there. So I like to do a concentrated, let's do that, over ice. Now the brewing is a little bit different. It's kind of slow at first and a little bit, it's not as hot, and then it kind of ramps the temperature up towards the end. And then with the over ice, it's gonna kind of start and stop about three times, and then it's gonna finish the brew all steady. You can see it's, it's gonna to try to, it does it at a lower temperature at first, around 165, 170. Right now we're at 145. There's about 155. Now that's going to melt that ice, so you want to use, make sure and use a lot of ice. So there we're about 170. And again, towards the end, it's just going to do a, a steady stream now. The first couple, it did about three or four pulses where it kind of brewed for a little bit, stopped, brewed for a little bit, and stopped. Okay, so it's finishing up. Again, that's just going to be six ounces. Okay, so you get two beeps when it's done. Let's take it out. Yeah, it feels like a very cold, refreshing drink. So I'm gonna add some milk to this and some uh, syrup. Yeah, that's what I like to be, around 35, 36 degrees for an iced coffee. Okay, so let's take this out again. Be careful, this can be hot. And we can take a look again, be careful, that's really, really hot, but we can see there's the brew, it brewed the coffee. It doesn't overflow it, it does a really good job of brewing. Okay, so I added a few more uh, ice cubes to it. Again, I like to add milk, this really helps make the coffee taste delicious. And then I like to add a little bit of French vanilla syrup. This takes away all the bitterness, it's just a really nice tasting drink, about two tablespoons. Put that in there, give it a nice stir. Okay, so let's give this a taste now. That's a very delicious tasting iced coffee. Now, it, it is pretty strong. I might back that down to just two tablespoons. It is a pretty strong tasting um, iced coffee. So another thing I like about this coffee maker, it comes with a very nice manual. It's got pictures. But I love when they come with recipe books. And these recipes are very nice. Um, very easy to follow and you're able to use it with this coffee maker. So I like when they come with recipe books Okay, so let's do the 24 ounces. This one was kind of surprising to me that a coffee maker could do 24 ounces But it can so I've got it filled up to the max line again It's not all the way to the top the max lines right down right below the mac word max. I've got six tablespoons of coffee in there Let's close the lid Okay, so for 24 ounces, you're gonna need a pretty big container now. I've got this little five cup carafe now it fills it all the way to the top so you got to be careful it's going to make a lot of coffee and again only you can only do a 24 ounce on a strong brew if you try to do it on over ice or regular it bumps it down to a 12 ounce and starts the brew so let's do a strong brew and since we're doing a strong brew it's going to kind of be a, like a delayed brew it's going to take a little bit longer to brew it it did kind of brew a little bit at first, kind of stops, and now it's continued to brew. So let's do some temperature checks here at the beginning. 
So yeah, it's ramping up pretty quick. It's gonna get up there around 195, 196, like a like a uh, normal brew. And then once it starts, so after about the minute and a half mark, it just starts a continuous brew. It doesn't splatter a lot. Okay, so let's do another temperature check in here. Be careful, this is a lot, of, and it doesn't stop. So you gotta make sure you got a big enough container. 197. Okay, so that took about four and a half minutes. You end up with a very hot cup of pot of coffee. Yeah, 172, 173. So let's see how the filter basket did. Let's open this up. Yeah, so the coffee smells really good. Okay, there's the filter basket. Now it doesn't overflow it. It looks like it does a good job of brewing it, getting the water, all the coffee grounds nice and saturated. Okay, so the manual talks about after 150 brews, the regular and strong brew light will flash alternating red. That means it's time to descale. And then it gives you detail, uh, descale instructions on the lid. So I like when there's different kinds of instructions on here. So this is a very nice coffee maker. You may have noticed I'm starting to get a few products in free. I'm trying this out to see how it goes. Um, I'm getting a lot of emails from people wanting to send me free products, but I've kind of limited it on what I want to do. And this one seemed... Um, it seemed like I wanted to do it, so I went ahead and told him I would take it. But even though this was a free product given to me, I do think this is a nice coffee maker. And the main thing is, I mean, if you want that large quantity, the filter basket doesn't overflow, it doesn't splatter a bunch, the coffee is nice and hot, it's simple to use. But I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about taking free products. Um, if you want to leave in the comments down below what you think of of when people take free products and do reviews on them. I'm trying to give you an honest opinion. I think it can be a little tricky when you get a free product because you you do want to give it a good uh, a good review because you got it free, but you also want to give be honest and fair about it. And before I forget, let's do measurements. So 14 and a quarter inches. And with the lid all the way open, it's 21 inches, so it will not fit under a kitchen cabinet. Front to back, you're looking at about 10 inches. Left to right, you're almost six inches. Yeah, I thought it just, it does a really good job. It's got that single needle up there. You know, it's very easy to clean. And the cord for it is a two-prong cord. It's 32 inches long. Now it does say it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, but it is 1,000 watts. And the model number is FMK2220. Again, I really appreciate everybody's support. I will put links to this. This is for sale on Amazon. I'll put a link to it. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the product doesn't cost you anymore, but I do get a percentage of the sale if you end up buying the product through my link. And again, thanks everybody for sticking with me. I have not been producing many videos lately. I have been a little under the weather. I've had the flu for a couple weeks and I'm dealing with my cluster headaches right now. Those last usually about two, almost three months. Um, just have some really bad days with those. So I really appreciate everybody's support. I am going to be working on something in this, this summer, hopefully, of trying to give away my products. Or I've just got a lot of coffee makers that I've got to figure out something to do with them. I have donated a bunch. But I would also like to treat some of the viewers and give them away as uh, prizes and different things. Again, thanks everybody for watching. If you could, hit the uh, subscribe button and the like button. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.